Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick White, Off Leash Canine Training, and I'm proud to present for the first time ever a new project that I've been working on over the last five months with the great folks over at eCollar Technologies. I had this idea about two to three years ago, but we've really started working on it over the last five months, and I'm proud to say Greg Van Curren, the owner over at eCollar Tech, has made this a reality. After numerous prototypes going back and forth, we're finally ready to roll out the eCollar AI, which stands for auto increasing. And it does exactly as it sounds. It solves a lot of problems I've seen over the years with traditional e-collars. So if you're a trainer or you're a client who's had their dog trained with an e-collar, you're familiar with the issues the e-collars present. You know, a lot of the issues are you're trying to increase the dial. And now if you're a client, you're trying to manage the dog's leash, you're trying to pay attention to the dog, worry about the commands, you got a lot going on. And then some of the issues that presents itself is sometimes you're increasing the dial too much, delivering more stem than you intended. Sometimes you're not increasing the dial at all or too little, delivering less stimulation than you intended. Again, all presenting training issues for the dog, creating a system that's really not fair and really not consistent to the dog, which is what we're really all about, creating solid, confident, happy, obedient dogs. So this system that I've created, I think helps solve a lot of those issues. And I think most of you, whether you're a trainer or you're a client, is gonna love the new system and how it works. Here's what it does. So first, you set the baseline for that specific dog in front of you, which is very easy to do. We're gonna demonstrate that in a second. The second thing you need to establish is what do you want your increase to be? So maybe it's a sensitive dog and you wanna simply increase it by one level at a time. Maybe it's a, a normal moderate dog and you wanna increase five to seven levels at a time. Maybe you have a more stubborn dog and you wanna increase it at 10, 15 levels at a time. Again, you'll make that decision based off the dog that is in front of you. So we'll say we start with the baseline of level five and we set the increase to a level five. So how it works with our new system is when you press the stimulation button, it delivers the stimulation at your baseline of five. Press that button again, and it goes to your increase level that you also set to five. So now it goes 10. Press it again, 15. Press it again, 20. Press it again, 25. Hit the red button, it drops back to your baseline of five, resetting, ready to give the next command to the dog. Eliminating all issues of fumbling with the dial, eliminating going up too high on the remote, eliminating not turning up the dial or going too low on the remote, eliminating all of these issues, and more importantly, making it extremely fair to the dog that's in front of you. So now it's not a variable increase in stimulation. That dog is learning. It is going up precisely laser specific four levels at a time, seven levels at a time, 10 levels at a time, not whatever you arbitrarily land on on each turn of the dial. So it eliminates a lot of issues and it makes it more fair to the dog and it makes a more seamless process in the training. And again, if you have a, a very sensitive dog, you can set the baseline to a level one and increase by one at a time. So when you press the dial, one, two, three, four, five, red button, reset to the baseline, and you're ready to go for the next command. These are gonna be ready to be ordered from eCollar Technologies right around the second week of May. You can pre-order all of these eCollars now, and the information is gonna be in the paragraph below, and reach out to them, tell them you're interested in the eCollar Technologies AI, and they'll begin shipping right around the second week of May. These are gonna be a difference of price of about right at $10, whether you're a dealer or whether retail. So that's gonna be the price difference compared to the normal e-collars now. But again, I think there's a huge benefit in this, especially when you have older clients who's not as you know, good at manipulating the dial, new trainers, whatever, it's gonna benefit everyone. And most importantly, it's gonna benefit the dogs. And I'm happy to present to you this for the first time ever. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me or comment below. Thanks guys. You can set up your e-collar AI in two very simple steps. The first thing you do is determine how many levels do you want your e-collar to increase on the press of the button. You program this simply by holding down the black button for about five seconds until you see the number one appear on the screen. Now you turn the dial to what you want that level increase to be. For the purpose of this video, we will do a five and then you tap that button again 
and you are now locked in. The second and final thing is where do you want your baseline to be? Meaning, where do you want your dog's starting point to be? This can be anything from one on up. For the purpose of this video, we will also make the baseline a level five. It's that simple, you are now ready. So to give you a demonstration, we will say we're recalling the dog on the come command. Come, 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 red button, reset back to your baseline. Sit, 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 reset back to your baseline. Down, 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 reset back to your baseline. Another thing that we've built into this is for those of you that do like operating your dog on a working level for things such as heel or other things, you can still do that. Say your dog's working level on heel is a 15. You can turn to a 15, press and hold the dial in. In two seconds, you are now locked into that level 15. If you wanna go back to auto increase mode, you simply hold it down another two seconds, Go back to whatever your baseline was and you are back ready to go with the auto increase technology. And finally, you can still operate the e-collar as a normal traditional e-collar. So if you like operating it manually on occasion or dog specific, you can still do that. Come, you know, increase, come, increase, come, increase, back down to zero. And that is how simple, effective, and precise my new collaboration with e-collar technologies is.